In this video, I'm going to show you how you can export your form data from a Word fillable form and import it into an Excel spreadsheet. This is a method that you can use if you want to create a database of your form field data. And if you want to keep a recurring database where if, as you get a few forms in each day and you want to add them to this list, the method I'm going to show you today will be a good option for you. However, if you do have a need for a very large amount of data to be generated from your forms and responses and results of your forms or surveys, I would encourage you to check out my video on creating Google Forms and that way you can automatically export the results from your surveys and forms into Excel automatically. But this is a way where when you use Word Forms, template form fields and legacy tool form fields, you can import those into Excel. All right. So here I've got an example, just a very simple incident report form. And there's a couple of form fields here that I'm going to want to set up and have and create a database of this in case I need to search it later, or quickly reference which, um, which form some information may have come in on. It's much easier to do that in Microsoft Excel. And maybe I only get a few of these a week. And so it's not very difficult if I have to add new form form rows into my spreadsheet, we're going to look at how to do that. All right, so here I have filled out one incident report form for just very basic information. The first thing to know that we what we need to do in order to get this into a format that Excel can see that data from those form fields, we need to save this um, in a particular way. So what you're going to do is you're going to come up. So if this is a completed form that either you did or that you received from someone, you're going to come up to file and click save a copy and you can click browse. And what you'll want to do is come down, um, find the location, the file location where you want to save your document, and then come to Tools and select Save Options. Your Save Options menu is going to come up over here and click on Advanced. And then scroll down um, quite a ways toward the bottom where you see a section that says preserve fidelity when sharing this document, you'll see a checkbox that says save the form data as a delimited text file, you're going to check that box and click OK. And then as the file type, what you want to do is come up here and drop down and save this as a plain text um, file type. And so um, this is going to be an incident report fillable form in a text version. And I've actually already saved this one just like that. I would click save and it would be saved and I would have the location of that file. So I'm going to cancel out of that and you can see I've already saved it. Um, I also have a second form that another user filled out a very similar form, but with um, different information. And I've also saved that as a text file as well in the very same same fashion. So you're going to do that for each of the forms that um, that you want to load into your Excel spreadsheet. All right, then we're going to come down to Excel here, we're going to open up a new spreadsheet. And what we're going to do is click on the data tab. And then we're going to say get data. We're going to choose from file, and we're going to say from text or CSV. Uh, you'll notice on your ribbon over here that you actually have a quick link to that directly. So if for some reason you don't have that quick link, you can get to it from this drop down menu over here. All right, so I'm going to select that I want this first text file um, for the incident report to import into my spreadsheet. And Excel is going to establish a connection to that word form document. And then it's going to come up with this information here, I'm going to click on uh, transform data. And then this is going to open the Excel Power Query editor where I can um, then modify that I want um, to relabel my column headers. And so um, to do that, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to say rename and I'm going to rename each of my column headers. And this is the the since this is the first time I'm doing this, I want to set this up as my headers, I won't have to do this every time this is just the one time that I'm setting up um, for the column headers to uh, to map over. And this one I'm going to say name. And I'm going to label the second column time and date. 
And there I've labeled all of my headers, relabeled all of my headers for my spreadsheet. And now I'm gonna come over here and say close and load, and I'm just gonna close and load into the spreadsheet. And it comes up, so now you can see all of my form field data is now in a nice spreadsheet database format, which is great. Now, if I have a second, um, I have a second form, right? My next forms come in, I wanna add it to this database. And so I've found one of the easiest ways to do that is to simply um, come to a new sheet in your workbook and import it in the same way. So you're gonna actually import it on a secondary tab and then we'll copy and paste it over into the main tab. So what we'll do is we'll say get data again from a CSV text file. And this time we're gonna select the second form and we'll say import. This time we don't need to worry about relabeling the headers. Um, we just wanna bring that data in. What we're gonna do is say load to and we're gonna just, it lets us select um, that we want to add it into this existing new worksheet here and it will come over and then all we have to do is select that sec uh, the second row there of information. We're gonna copy it and then paste it over here on our main spreadsheet tab. We're gonna relabel this. Um, this is our main database for incident reports. So um, we can just leave it that way. Then you don't have to save this tab. You can delete the tab. You can right click and delete the tab and um, it, it'll say permanently delete. You can say yes. And then you'll have your running list here that you can um, copy over each new form information, all the data fields into your Excel form here. So this is a quick and easy way if you just have kind of one form at a time that you wanna make sure that you import and save into an Excel spreadsheet that you can then analyze or filter on easily for whatever you may need to. If you found this video helpful, be sure and give it a thumbs up to like it. You can subscribe to my channel and click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Visit my website, SharonSmithHR.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.